Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.7 for free. Like many creators these days, I'm on Patreon. If you want to support the channel, visit my Patreon page and check out the donation options as well as perks for donating. This week's Patreon shoutout goes to Alexandi1. He's been supporting the channel for a while now, so a huge shout out to him. But now onto the video. Yep, that's right, a free homebrew exploit which works on 11.7 has been released. And this isn't the one Smee is going to announce at DEF CON, that one's still to come. So in the meantime, we can use this free and easy method which I'm going to show you in this video. Like I said, this tutorial is quite easy, but if you do need any help, you can ask me or anyone else on my Discord server, the link to that is down below. All you're going to need for this video is a free DS with an internet connection, an SD card and an SD card reader for your PC. But of course, if you're using a new 3DS or a new 2DS, you can use the SD card management software in system settings. But now let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe if it helped you out. I make new Nintendo videos like this every Sunday. First of all, you're going to want to find your 3DS's firmware version. To do this, just open up system settings and your version will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Your firmware version may not look the same as mine, but it should start with 11.7. Now you're going to want to note down your entire 3DS firmware version because we're going to be using it later. Once you've done that, return to the home menu and then we can move on to the next step. Now open up the Nintendo eShop because we're going to be downloading a free game. Once you're in, tap the search icon, then type in Sub Wars, then tap OK. Once you tap OK, you should find this game, but this isn't the game we're looking for because this game has update in the title. We're going to have to find the original version or this exploit won't work, let's find that now. And here it is, now we're going to download this game as normal. Once it's finished, return to the home menu and it should take you to the game automatically. Once you try to open the game, it will ask you to update it, but we aren't going to update it because that will stop the exploit from working, just press the A button here. If you already had this game before watching this video, or updated your game by accident, we're going to have to remove the update. Let's do that now. To do this, just open System Settings, and under Data Management, delete the add-on content for Steel Diver Subwars. And that's all you have to do to remove the update data, so now let's continue with the exploit. Next, 
launch Steel Diver Subwars and create a new profile using a me. Once you've created your profile, go back, then go back to the home menu and close the software. And now for the last step until we move on to the PC, open up your friends list and note down your friend code. You can find your friend code in the second card on the top screen. Now head over to your PC. Once on your PC, visit my website at jacksorel.tv or click the link which is down below. Then use the navigation bar in the top right corner of the website to find this page. Click the Seed Helper button and it will take you to this page. Enter your friend code in the first box, then we'll move on to how to find your ID0 number. To find your ID0 number, which you probably haven't heard of before, just open your 3DS SD card and navigate to the Nintendo 3DS folder. One of these folder names here is my ID0 number, but I don't know which one it is, so let's find out now. Just open any of the folders at random, and if you see these folders inside, then you've chosen the correct one. And as you can see, the contents of these folders are very different, so it should be easy to find the right one. So now copy your ID0 number into the website. You can quickly access the rename option by pressing F2 on your keyboard. Click the go button, then let Seed Helper do its thing. The next step is to enter the friend code which Seed Helper gives you into your friends list. This friend code may change in the future, so make sure to use the one on the website and not the one shown in this video. To enter the friend code, just open your friends list and tap register friend over the internet. And then enter the friend code. Tap OK and you should now be friends with Figgy. Now over on your PC, Seed Helper should now display this message. Click continue and Seed Helper will then begin to process a file needed to activate the exploit. This process can take up to 30 minutes to complete but it only took around 10 minutes for me. Once it's finished, go ahead and download the file it was preparing then save it to your desktop. Back on my website, click the Steel Miner button and it will take you to this page. What we're going to do now is select the file we just downloaded and then upload it. Then you're going to select your 3DS's region. If you're not sure of your 3DS's region, just look at the letter at the end of the firmware version. If your firmware ends in U, it's US, E for Europe and J for Japan. Click Start, then save the file to your desktop. Then under finalizing, download the Steelhacks installer. And finally, download the latest version of the homebrew menu. Then head over to the homebrew launcher page, which is also linked on my website. Enter your freed Yes's model and full firmware version. If you don't know if your 3DS is old or new, just check how many shoulder buttons you have. If you have only L and R, choose old, but if you have four buttons, L, R, Z, L and Z, R, choose new. And don't forget about your region letter, E for Europe, U for US, J for Japan and K for Korea. And finally, click download other app 
and save the file to your desktop. Next, extract the contents of the Steelhacks archive. You will need WinRAR to extract this archive, but don't worry, WinRAR is a free software available online. Now find the file which you just downloaded from the Homebrew Launcher website. Right click the file, then click Properties. Then rename the file to payload. Make sure not to delete the .bin part, that is a file extension. If you change that, the file may break. But if you don't see it, that's fine, sometimes it is hidden. Once you've done that, open up your 3DS SD card. Then copy the 3DS folder and the Steelhacks folder to the root of the card. Inside the Steelhacks folder, Delete the put payload here file, then copy the payload file which you just renamed to that folder. Then copy the boot file to the root of the 3DS SD card. Once you've done that, open the Nintendo 3DS folder, then your ID0 folder, and then your ID1 folder. Open the title folder and then this folder. Now we're going to open the folder starting with 000D7. The rest of the folder name can be different depending on your region. And finally, open the data folder. Then replace this file with the one you downloaded. Once you've done all that, eject the SD card, or safely close the connection if you're doing it wirelessly. Then delete the remaining homebrew files from your PC, we won't be needing these anymore. Now over on your 3DS, launch Steel Diver Subwars, and remember not to update the game. If you update the game, the exploit will stop working. Well, it looks like our first attempt crashed the console, but don't worry, to fix this, just hold the power button for about 10 seconds until the power LED turns off, then just launch the game again. And we're back, let's launch the game again and hopefully it will work this time. And that's it, you've just homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.7. .7. As you can see, there isn't really any apps installed yet, but don't worry, in future videos, I'll show you how to install tools, emulators, games and lots more, so make sure to subscribe. To exit the homebrew launcher, just press the start button and then the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. And from now on, when you open Steel Diver Subwars, you'll be greeted with the homebrew launcher. Just make sure you don't update the game or update your firmware version. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and if you want more homebrew guides, just visit my website at www.jacksorrell.tv or subscribe. But anyway, I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.